This is one of the only light tests you will need to do. Please follow my instructions and you will be safe. Most of the tests that we're going to do after that will be done with the dryer disconnected from the wall outlet. If you set the dryer timer in different cycles, press the push to start button and the dryer won't start. Make sure that the door is closed and that the dryer is connected to the wall outlet. If the dryer still won't start, we need to check the voltage of the terminal block. For that you will need a voltmeter and you need to set it higher than the volts you're going to check. Use alligator clips like these ones on the voltmeter test leads. This way you don't have to touch the dryer during this test and avoid any electrical shock. Remove the terminal block cover plate. Connect your voltmeter test leads between terminals L1 and L2. Have the dryer connected to the wall outlet. The reading between L1 and L2 should be about 240 volts. Have the dryer disconnected from the wall outlet. Connect your voltmeter test lead between terminals L2 and N. Have the dryer connected to the wall outlet. The reading between L2 and N should be about 120 volts. Have the dryer disconnected from the wall outlet. Connect your voltmeter test lead between terminals L1 and N. Have the dryer connected to the wall outlet. The reading between L1 and N should be about 120 volts. Have the dryer disconnected from the wall outlet. If you don't get these readings, check for a blown fuse or a trip circle breaker. If your problem is bigger than this, get a licensed electrician to take care of it. Also check for loose connections at the terminal block. And check for burnt or broken wires too. Check the core plug. Make sure that the terminals are nice and clean and you don't see any burnt marks on them. That was the safest way to check for voltage at the terminal block. If you follow my instructions, there's no chance of you getting an electrical shock. For the best place to buy replacement parts online, visit Repair Clinic. When you buy parts from Repair Clinic, you have 365 days from the day of purchase to return the part for a refund or for a replacement. You can find links to Repair Clinic in my website.